The Cavs are one of the teams in the NBA I feel like have had some of the most interesting uniforms in the NBA. I think that of all of the teams in Cleveland, due to the fact that the Cavs just aren't as historical as the Cleveland Browns or the Cleveland Guardians, they have had the room in the city to kind of go as wild as possible or as in many different directions as possible with their color scheme. And I think that you've gotten some of the most interesting uniforms of the city of Cleveland from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So what I'm going to do today is a tier list of the Cavs uniforms. We're going to break it down. I'm going to put what I think are the best uniforms, what I think are not the best uniforms, and we're going to go ahead and do this thing. But before we do this thing, we're going to say thank you to today's sponsor, DraftKings. Basketball fans, this season has been filled with big plays and even bigger wins. And today I've teamed up with DraftKings who have an offer that's sure to be a slam dunk. All new customers who place a $5 bet will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Let me know who you're riding with and be sure to enter those picks on DraftKings by downloading the DraftKings app and signing up using my promo code Cavs burner. If you've already signed up for DraftKings like me, all customers can get a no sweat bet, get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay slash same game parlay X bet doesn't hit. Max reward limits apply. Fan of multiple teams and want to bet them all, combine multiple bets together for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, not to worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Now, new customers who use the promo code CAVSMURNER and bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code CAVSMURNER. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. All right. All right. So the first uniforms we have here, and I think, I think two things are true. There are three colors that really work well for the Cavs. I mean, white works well for almost any NBA team, so it almost doesn't count. But I think there are three colors that really, really work well with the Cavs, in my opinion. I feel like, the wine colors, the more maroon colors, those really work. I feel like the navy blue, whenever they work that in, those are usually, you know, some hot uniforms. And black, when they when the black uniforms usually are pretty fire too, right? Um, and again, the Cavs have a lot of different colors to choose from. So we'll start with the original 90, well, not the original, but the, the classic 90s uniforms with the, with the, orange numbers and the navy blue jersey and i always felt like these jerseys to me like yeah to some people they kind of look like new york knicks jerseys but these jerseys to me have always kind of been the combination of like the guardians and the Browns into like one. Cause you got the orange from the Browns. You have the, the Navy blue from the guardians. Um, and you kind of like smashing those two together to make something unique. That's why I've always felt like these uniforms, um, or at least the Navy blue uniforms try to go for. And I think that's why I put these uniforms in a tier. I think that these are, a tier uniforms um i think they could be better i think other iterations of the navy jerseys were done better ultimately they are very similar to the new york knicks jerseys because they're just super plain um but the first s tier jersey is going to be oh the 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 return the original return navy blue version of that beautiful beautiful post LeBron jersey. Um, now, it ended up kind of being post LeBron, but slash with LeBron kind of jersey. But man, these jerseys right here that they had, what, 2013 to like 2018? I loved them. I thought that almost every version of these jerseys 
we're just dope. Like we're some of the best, we're some of the best looks that this uh, franchise has had in a while. And honestly, when they switched out of it to the pirate style, I thought it was such a downgrade, um, to be honest with you. So I'm going to put that in S tier. I thought that that navy blue jersey, it just felt like a sequel to the navy blue original LeBron era jerseys. And I thought that those were so dope as well. Um, this right here, the, the orange Cavs jersey. I love bright colors. But I don't know. Just this doesn't do it for me, to be honest with you. I'm going to put this in C. I love that Cavs logo, and I love that the Cavs have kind of come back to that logo with the net in the V. I just think this right here, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't the right colors to do it. I think it was just kind of just loud and, and, and boring, to be honest with you. Um, these Pirate 2018 Cavs jerseys, I don't like these at all, man. Like, I hate these, to be honest with you. Like, one, the numbers don't really pop off the back of the jersey. So, like, because it's navy blue, it just doesn't look good. It's a, it's just a flat, ugly jersey to me. Like, I think there's a lot of, there's not a lot of ways you can go wrong with the wine jerseys, but this is one of the few ways that you can go wrong with it because you just are doing too much. There's too many colors going with this jersey it doesn't pop and it's just such a downgrade coming from those that beautiful look at that beautiful Cavs jersey that i have an s tier and then look at this and tell me that's not a downgrade like look at the shorts on that it's just such a better jersey than this it just felt like ugh. speaking of that era they came out with another dud here i thought that this cleveland this navy blue, blue script cleveland one Again, too much shit going on. Like, I like certain elements of it. I like that it has the original Cavs, too. The Cavs numbering in it. Well, not the original Cavs numbering, but that, you know, that 2000 era Cavs numbering. And then they had some of the original LeBron era side piping on it. And then they tried to bring in some of that 70s era script Cleveland. But again, it's doing way too much. And that's usually the issue with the City Edition jerseys is that they try to do way too fucking much um and they can't pull it off and this is just another example of like again you're doing way too much it doesn't need to be this much now another classic i love this jersey i don't know if other people love this jersey but the the home whites of that 2013 to 20 well it's not better than the navies but of that the home white jersey of that 20 uh 2013 to 2018 era again it's the cleanest home uniform or one of the cleanest home uniforms they've ever had. Um, and it was just such a cool look. And then since you had that really thick waistband, it looked super good in motion. Um, in some of the most iconic moments in Cavaliers history have happened with this Cavs jersey on. Like when I think of the Cavs winning basketball games, I think of these two jerseys that are in S tier. Uh, I didn't hate these. I, now, I know some people are going to think I don't like the simple jerseys just because, well, I like the simple jerseys. I don't like the complicated ones. But again, this is this is like a nice, loud jersey, but like you're doing more with it. I just felt like, honestly, they could have done a little bit more here. Like this is, they overcorrected from that mess they created in D tier, but they could have had like more detail in that stripe, right? In between there, maybe some white in there that would have like made it pop a little bit. It's just, it's a nice, it's a nice take on it. I don't hate it. I just wish it, it, it went as bold as it can go because I feel like it's a little bit too bland for what it should be. Um, these OG Cleveland jerseys, I always like these. I always like these. Again, it's hard to go wrong with the wine jerseys. Um, these Cleveland jerseys, I believe these were the road jerseys for the Cavs during the 2013 to 2017 era um, of Cavs basketball. I'm going to be honest with you. This was probably the worst one out of all those uniforms. And it, it, this one was a, like, I think the white jersey works being that simple. I think that Navy jersey with the big calves on it really works. Uh, this one doesn't work as much. 
it's fine. Like I didn't hate it, but it just if this one felt bland because of because of how little it had going on. Um, but how many colors it had? Well, not many colors. The color combination just doesn't suit itself to that. Um, but these jerseys right here, the gold ones. I don't really love the gold jerseys, to be honest with you. I'm going to put that here Um, again. It's, it just doesn't do much for me. Now, these right here. Whoo, these are cold. Now, I believe these were like 2009 that the Cavs brought these out, the big Cavs. Um, it was kind of a precursor to what they went to after LeBron left. Um, but these are just so good. I mean, like the numbers are white. They pop. Um, you got the gold there with the big Cavs logo. You have the nice, simple wine color there. Like, ooh, like th this right here, these three jerseys. Oh, man. This is Pete Cavs right here. Now, this still ain't better than that, the Navy one. And it's not better than the white one. But this is a beautiful, beautiful jersey, in my opinion. Um, you got the OG Austin Carr Cavs wine ones. I like the design on them. I don't like the color on this one. I think that these 90s, late 90s, early 2000 era Cavs before LeBron got drafted on the team. This is a beautiful jersey, too. I'll put it above that. Ooh, that home white is so nice. It's so nice. It's so crisp. It's so clean. I think this was an alternate take on it, um, but it, it's just such a nice jersey right here. All right, now we're getting into some of my least favorite Cavs jerseys of all time, straight up. This gray, the land jersey, I hate with a passion. I can't tell you another uniform I hate more than this gray ugly monstrosity i hate sometimes when i saw the Cavs wearing this jersey i didn't even want to watch the game that's how ugly this thing was and shout out to this jersey this cleveland one with all the it's too much it's ugly as hell that that thing was ugly as hell get it out of my face i hated that jersey dog <laughs> it's an ugly ass jersey man uh all right this jersey the Cavs. this one I believe this was right after they switched from the electric stripe or whatever they call it to this one. And they tried to simplify it. And I just think this look when it's simple, it just looked like Sears like this right here. It looks kind of fun when they had that stripe. But when you take that stripe away and all the 90s fun shit out of it, it just looks like a Sears Cavs jersey D tier. It's, it's not very nice. This here, too, they tried to make a powder blue version of the classic Cavs jersey. This is garbage. It, it's a very ugly look. Um, this jersey right here is very similar to another look that they had. I'm going to put it up here in A. I still like the home whites of these much better, but the road version isn't that bad either. Um, oh, Oh, the classic Navy original LeBron era jersey. Yes, this is an S tier. Absolutely. Um, they need to bring these era of jerseys back. Like, I, it makes no sense that we've gone back to every era but the original LeBron era, right? The first LeBron run. And they had good uniforms in that run. Like, I think I like, maybe it's because I grew up in this run, I'm overrating them. But I like those uniforms, to be honest with you. Like, I really did mess with those. Um, and I like those those versions of that uniform a lot. Um, then you got to put the 2016 T-shirt jerseys in there. I think the whole city of Cleveland was rocking these. Like, this went triple platinum in Cleveland. Um, so you got to put those in there. And then you got another beautiful jersey here. This navy blue Cavs with the big. Like, I love the Cavs jerseys that have the big Cavs on it. Like, with the curve and the basket in it. That is peak Cleveland Cavaliers here. Now, I think the newest version of these jerseys aren't going to be on this tier list. I would put them pretty highly because I like those new jerseys. But, yeah, this one right here, I would put it, yeah. Yeah, I I, 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 I kind of fuck with it more than the, uh, than the LeBron. Yeah, I, I kind of fuck with it more than that. Yeah. All right. This Cavs jersey, the original away version um, during the LeBron era, the first one, I liked it. 
Uh, it's, it's a nice uniform. You know, it's kind of that what you think about when LeBron was in there. But these all whites were so crispy clean, man. The all whites crispy clean. You got to put those in S tier as well. Um, these all white versions of the 90s Cavs uniform. Again, it's a good jersey. I don't mind it. I'm going to put that at the top of B tier right there. Um, the These, I don't love the scripted Cavs jerseys. I'm finding out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put that here. I think this is probably the second best looking jersey in C tier. Um, these, I kind of fuck with it. Right? Like, I kind of, it's not as loud as the orange and blue. It's kind of like subdued. I kind of fuck with this. I actually really fuck with it. I like the concept more than what it looks like in person. But kind of fuck with that. Um, I like these Cavs jerseys as well. I'll put that next to that Austin Carr era. Um, and then what these all whites, I feel like we already placed the all whites, but we'll just put them next to these, right? Cause the coloring slightly different on that. Um, the pirate era white jerseys, these aren't bad, but again, it was just such a downgrade to what they had before. These are fine enough looking jerseys. I would say they're B tier. Um, now, these are the LeBron 2018 run jerseys, so they kind of get a boost because of it. I'm going to put them right here. I, I like those. I like those right there. That's the one combination they got right. The all black with the C kind of looks like the 2016 version. Uh, they need to go back to some of these looks with the C on it. Like I think that's a, that's a smart look for this team. Uh, then you got these black ones. I'm going to just put them next to the other ones because they're pretty much identical. I hated these these 2001 ass jerseys right here it just let me throw them these are ugly like the all whites are fine but these are ugly let's throw them in garbage Woo! that gold Kyrie jersey yes 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 this is an s tier one as well um again i thought the Cavs had a lot of good uniforms man during this era this 2013 to 2017 era it's a very underrated jersey era for the Cavs. they kind of did an understated thing um it's kind of like weird because half of it happened with lebron but the most iconic lebron jerseys during this era ended up being like new jerseys and not these but these were such underrated classic gems of jerseys um this one right here where they tried to do the lebron era color uh Cavs jersey with the old school cast colors this is flat ugly as shit uh <laughs> sorry there are kids watching um this jersey right here is all right i'm gonna put it right there and then this i'm gonna put this in b tier but that's my calves jersey tier list tier list let me know what you think in the comment section below y'all have a great day have you a better night peace <laughs>